Don't make us who we are So I'll dream until I make it real And all I see is Hello guys How is my best team ever doing? How is everybody doing guys? I hope you enjoyed my previous videos Okay, um, we're going to get more deeper into the van life once I um, leave um, the, uh, this, uh, this side of town, this side of the mountains. I enjoy the mountains. They're beautiful. It's nice to be out here. I like it. But um, I want to venture out, okay? So, venture has started already. You've seen, I give you a little bit of something. I am very happy with my setup. It works from indoors and outdoors. That's what I was looking for. Um, out of so many setups I did, guys, I want to thank every single one of you for being patient with me. And um, if there's any information other other than vanning, okay, or camping, I will give you the information also. Um, I had a great time setting up my van. And... If you've seen my previous videos on one of them where I said um, other people's um, a garbage or trash is, is somebody else's treasure. Um, and I found that frame. That's just what I needed, guys. That simple frame. The bed sits very straight. My back is fine. I get into a deep sleep. Um relaxation is tremendous my uh, fireplace is a uh, USB powered it's, it's a simulator it's not a real fireplace Barb Barb is not a um, and, um, and Betty it's a um, it's a simulator it works on double-a batteries but but you know batteries waste very quickly so USB is the way to go so everything that I try to put into my van, guys, is USB, okay? Um, I'm very happy with it. It took me a while. God, I know it took me a long time because of the bed. My problem was, and it wasn't really actually the bed, but the space. I wanted it to be, to have space, okay? For me to move around... I didn't want to be cramped up either. So you can see the space that I have, guys, right? Plus, I'm going to be traveling with my Bella, okay? My Bella, yes, my, 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 my puppy Bella. So I needed space. I needed to be, for it to be comfortable, minimal, minimal to only what I would need. Um, this is the, um, it's August, but, it, you know, it seems like it's, it's the end of September so because this is my season to get out okay um, spring fall and before it gets um, really 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 freezing temperatures um, that's my season to be out so I'm going to be out a lot a lot most of the time I will be out in my van somewhere um, I am very happy with my setup. It works from indoors and outdoors, as you can see. Um, tomorrow, I will work on my um, again on the uh, the um, my gray water. Okay, I don't want my gray water dripping out in the street um, for the simple reason that here I could do it, and I don't mind doing here because and, and it doesn't matter because this is all you know um, a big piece of land but if you decide to go to Walmart if you decide that you or I'm going to travel you know hit the road um, a main road you can't have that water dripping all over because they're going to see a track of water running from here to yonders so that's a no-no that is not stealth but for the meantime that I was staying here I just I just you know um, I, I lost my funnel that I had to hook up, and I said to myself, you know what, <laughs> it's, you know, it's land, it's dirt, um, I'm not going to be doing much because they won't let me do much here, but at least I was able to 
to take the whole van apart. You saw it was empty. I emptied it out after I found that frame. Guys, I don't know. I got up early morning and normally I don't go down that way, but I go this way to check on that river, which is not close to here either. So don't get scared if it rains and whatnot. I'm saying the river's going to come out here. No, it's not that close either. Um, it's like a, a creek stream. So I decided to go on that side because it was more easier um, to get to visibility, okay, from a distance. And guess what was there? That um, frame just sitting there, just sitting there uh, with other stuff, okay. And I thought about it. And I looked at it. I came back from my measuring tape. Went back with my measuring tape. I said, this is it. And you saw how, you saw the condition that I found it, right? Who knows how long it's been there, okay? Uh, maybe a year, because I haven't been up here in a year. But, I always say, God is good. Okay? God is good. God is good to me, guys. God is good to me, and God is always with me. And I want to tell you something. Wherever I step foot at, I make friends. And I make good friends. I have that blessing of making good friends, okay? So, I met the neighbors, okay? The few times that I came up here. Um... Uh, the uh, workers at Dollar General. I know there's three workers a week. I feel very nice. I met them. They, now they know me. They know my name. Hey, 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 you're back here again today. You know, it's nice. It's nice to to be a people person. So I am a people person. Um, for some reason, God only knows that when my presence is around, people feel so comfortable with me. Because my heart is good, my mind, my conscience is clean. I have no malice to do any malice. I never wish anyone any wrong. And I am down to earth person, okay? I know sometimes my language slips, but it's nothing for y'all to be alarmed at, okay? Um, my humor, okay? I try to work around it with humor because I'm not going to sit down and cry or ruin my head okay with negativity that's not me so um i am a, a very um grateful to meet people that just kind of we kind of connect you know it's a beautiful thing to have communication it's a beautiful thing to wave your hand at someone because you don't know what that person is going through. We I'd rather turn the AC off. We don't know why it's in every head up here. We don't know what anybody's situation is unless they tell you about it. And sometimes people will not tell you, like me. I'm, I'm, I, I take care of my issues without bothering anybody or telling anybody, okay? And it's a beautiful thing that your presence is like a blessing. I, I am a blessing. I am a blessing to people that I run into, okay? Um, this video has nothing to do with the van life, but um, I did learn a couple of things to have in hand. And... TV. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Um, and like I said, I am a people person. I um, I met Miss Hannah today. I mean, I met her. I met her because I did something told me to just go out and walk. I was walking with a cup of coffee down this road, just taking a morning walk, you know, to get my body moving, cause you know I have arthritis. And I have to keep 
my body in movement. Um, nothing strenuous or I'll be down and out, okay? That's about the only ailment that will keep my behind. And in the winter time, I have to bundle up because asthma, the freezing cold weather, that's why I can't take the air conditioner. My brother loves AC. I said, you're gonna, you're gonna kill yourself with AC. That's not good for your body, but because he has that other blood condition that is thickened, he has to donate blood every a couple of months to keep his blood level with those red blood cells on in check because it seems like his body multiplies red blood cells. So his blood is very good for anyone out there that needs it. So he does go to the blood bank and donate when he's, he's supposed to, he has to. And nothing, if he doesn't do it, you know, it just, it's just what he does it. He said, if it helps somebody else's, I don't care. And if it brings my level down to normal, which, I mean, it's normal, but it's just too many blood, red blood cells. He does it, because he has a good heart. He has a good heart. It's just that people, he's so good-hearted that some people get, you know, um, Take him for a sucker, okay, let's put it that way, to make it simple, and y'all can understand what I'm saying. A lot of good-hearted people are taking the wrong way, okay, they use you, they, um, they get what they want, because they know that you're a good-hearted person, and you know what, that's not right. So... I've been up here for like, what, a week and a half already? Setting my van up. I'm very happy with it. I, I hope you liked it, okay? Put your thumbs up if you like my van, okay? If you like my setup. So, not because of this video, but because do you like my van setup? Hit the like button. Um, I never ask for anything. I just make my videos because I have a great team on my channel. And now we're going to grow the channel a little bit and, um, and do some fun things, okay? So, back to what I was saying. When you have a good heart, God is with you. I believe that, okay? I believe that. I read my Bible. I, I You know I do. I read books related to the Bible. Um, I watch holy movies, okay? I know all my all psalms because you have to stay connected with God, guys. Okay, but some people you just can't beat a dead horse with it. But let me tell you something. Uh, I met Miss. Uh, you know what? Let me get this right. Let me get this right, guys. I kept. I called her Hannah, and all this time. I've called her Hannah. <laughs> her name is not Hannah. And it's not Irene. I'm, like, oh, I'm very bad with names. Guys, I'm very bad with math. And I'm very bad with names. So, her name is Laura. Okay, Laura. Beautiful, older woman. And, um... Uh... When I was walking that day with my cup of coffee, I see all these bugs and other things. But, um, butterflies, at least they're butterflies. <laughs> when I was walking with my cup of coffee that morning, and it was early morning, it was like 7.30, and I just felt like taking a walk. So I went down, she's about seven trailers down. She was sitting outside, yeah, no, I told you that before. And I waved to her, hi, good morning, you know, but not. And she waved to me, oh, you're having coffee? You're having in the cup, you know, would you like to have a cup with me? I'm, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, you know, I'm good, thank you. You sure you don't want to sit? I'll make some fresh coffee. I said, no, 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 it's okay, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, thank you. And she said, anytime you want to stop by and have coffee, we can sit out here and chat. I said, okay, thank you, I will, I will. I'm at the end, I told her where I was, I told her my name. And uh, she had told me her name, but you know, I'm not good with names. So, 
last night, right? I before I went to sleep in the van and it was still daytime, I took a walk down to her trailer. Beautiful home. And uh her truck wasn't there. Yeah, I know that, right? Okay. So today I was trying to help do something for my brother because he can't do it. Um trying to help him as much as I can. You know, I'll be back because, you know, when you make friends and good people, it makes you want to come back. I always come back to my brother, okay? I always come back to spend time with him. But um, when you meet other people in the, anywhere, the community or whatnot, um, God puts you in places for a reason. I truly believe that, guys. God puts you in places. God will, will, will make you stop doing what you're doing and switch your mind and direct you in, in another direction. So, I believe that. It happened with me lots of times. So, guys, I said I got bit by those, those whatever bees, okay? And it still hurts. The one here, it still hurts. And my hand, it still hurts. But with the Benadryl, I didn't get no reactions. So that's good. I was sitting out here trying to catch up with my people. Because we finally got Wi-Fi for a day. I mean, he does have Wi-Fi only, but it goes away. What am I going to do? So, today I finally got Wi-Fi. I um, caught up with, you know, people that I'm subscribed to um, that are van lifers. And I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. All uh, the comments that y'all left me, okay, Billion Dollar Hustler, Miss Ruth P, um, Joy Rout, thank you, Joy Rout. Uh, Joy Rout, stay, stay in touch, will you? Because we worry, okay, over, over other van lifers. So we gotta stay in touch, okay? Stay in touch, because if you get lost, we get worried. Because we're a group of van lifers, and when you join channels, and you have them on your channel, you want to hear about them, okay? When you make a video, I'll be happy, because I know you're okay. When other people comment, um, and you get to know them, because like I think, Interaction is very important for me. Interaction. Very important for me, guys. Um, because that we get to know each other a little bit. And we become a family. You know, we are a family of van lifers and nomads. Part-time, full-time. We go through our ups and downs. We get setups that work and don't work until we finally make it work. Um... And um, we travel short distance, long distance. We, we we do parks, camps, you know, all kinds of stuff. Sightseeing, okay? Something nice, you want to show it. Because maybe somebody might want to travel down this area if they like it, okay? So, upstate New York is beautiful. I never knew about upstate New York. I always thought New York was Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Long Island, you know, all that. I didn't know about no upstate nothing. And I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Ain't that a shame? You don't even know your whole New York? I was like, you know. So I'm in the borderline. Yeah, you yeah, know, New York, Massachusetts, Vermont, and Syracuse. That's where I'm at. I'm in the middle of somewhere. I'm in the middle of somewhere. <laughs> it's between here and there. Okay. So, guys, I just keep shutting off. Um, I truly appreciate every single one of you, okay? Miss Dragonflight, OTWP, Billion Dollar Hustler, Rodney, 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 um, you had me cracking up today, Rodney, <laughs> okay? With one of your comments of, I feel like a pancake. Yeah, because when you eat a lot of, um, heavy food, like, pancakes, that's filling, and that'll fill me up for the whole day, and I don't eat three meals a day, I, I don't, and heavy food, I don't do, 
especially early morning. Oh no. So it's just the way I've been all my life. Remember, I was a full-time uh, worker as a uh, nurse. Who has time to eat? So your stomach gets adjusted, okay? Your body gets adjusted. It was green tea, and green tea, and green tea, and green tea. <laughs> and then, um, a little bit of something after noon time. But, I was used to it, okay? I'm not used to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I can't, I can't, I just can't do it. I can't do it, guys. I cannot do it. If you see me cooking anything, it's going to be in the morning, a cup of coffee. That's what you're still going to see in the morning. And, um, maybe, uh, after 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you might see me cooking in the van. So, you know, it's after 2 to 3 o'clock p.m. Or maybe 4 o'clock p.m. You will see me doing some heavy-duty cooking inside the van. So, since the weather is getting chilly, it's chilly. I'm over here shaking, but I'm okay. Maybe because I took a hot shower now. After coming back from Miss Laura's house, it's not... Hannah. Now let me tell you why I was confused with Hannah and Laura. Okay. Her last name is Heineke. So I couldn't remember her first name. So when I got here, all I can remember was it matched with Heineken. <laughs> yeah. It matched with Heineken. So I put Hannah. You know, just to remind me that it was the high neck and lady neighbor and um, I didn't have I didn't catch her first name because you know, I'm bad with names so guys her name is Laura Heineke so that's why I had her programmed on my phone number as Heineke because it was closer to Heineken and she did tell me you can call me Hanne Heineken or you can call me, you know, the first, I couldn't remember her first name. So I put Hannah. <laughs> to remind me that her last name is Heineken. Heineken. Not Heineken. Heineken. You know, close to the Heineken beer. So that's why I shortened it up to Hannah. Well, my, my brain, you know, my, my brain wasn't, it's not functioning too good sometimes. <laughs> with names. So anyway, back to my van. Uh, I noticed the porta potty is all awesome. Okay, fine. My uh, rear seat, fine. Okay, fine. Um, I sit there comfortably, and I work on my sink comfortably. I cook sitting there comfortably. I have lots of space. I have enough space if somebody wants to uh, come camping or boondocking or whatnot, like my daughter or or um, my daughter-in-law. So they, you know, they can lay on the floor. I have I have a setup for the floor. That's why I wanted the space without making a full-size bed or nothing like that. Honda Odyssey, um, they're not leveled. Um, so, until you finish your setup, and you got everything working, and you start moving around in it, sometimes you catch yourself tripping, because it's not leveled. But I noticed, since I've been in and out of it, in and out of it, and in and out of it, and in and out of it, I got used to it. So... What you do in a situation like that, when you're parking somewhere, you make sure that you park your van in a spot that has that little bit of highness from your front where your engine is. So since my brother has the, the street, the pavement, what I did was, just a little bit of my tires was on top of the pavement and the rest of the van was in the grass area 
So that gave me the leverage. That off the way. <laughs> and then, uh, day before that, I didn't do that. But I'm getting used to moving around the van very easily, guys. Very easily. It doesn't hurt my back like it used to. I slept calm. Oh, I slept back up. Baby, what? And then it started pouring rain like at 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, oh, I'm laying down now. So I had the fireplace simulator going up with my USB jackery. You know, this thing hasn't even lost charge. This thing is really good. Um, Miss Ruth P., I'm glad you're enjoying yours, okay? Uh, from the bottom of my heart, it came out of my heart to send you one. Okay, so uh, I looked at channels, people that are subscribed to me, and they don't have any addresses or PO boxes or nothing like that. Many I have sent stuff to. The ones I do want to send stuff to, they don't have no kind of description of addresses or, or hub area that they can pick up. Or um, they have these little stores, pharmacies. They receive um, delivery. You can you choose them, get the address, go ask questions. You know, I can use this to receive a package and just throw it, throw it in your in your in your in it, and I'll I'll check it out. Um, van lifers, I have sent stuff. Okay, I don't have to mention to who. They know who they are because it came from the bottom of my heart. Whatever I do, it comes from the heart. Okay, God tells me. Um, I get a feeling, you know, and boom, I will send something. Um, and I do have, uh, some addresses that I will be sending some, some stuff, okay? Um, but once I get back to New Jersey, I'm, I'm three and a half hours, but it takes me five and a half because I always hit the wrong road. But anyway, my sink works beautifully. Um, my bed is wonderful. My food pantry cabinet, a uh, three uh, drawer plastic, um, it, it holds a lot of food. The bins that are under the bed, they hold all my winter stuff, guys. From heavy blankets to um, the uh, rocket stove. Uh, um, canisters but I always leave one or two that it reachable so I don't have to go into the bin but it's stocked up in there for winter okay for winter it's stocked up the bins under the bed so one I don't really have to touch it until winter gets here if I'm a buddy heater and all I have it remember that I have a trunk under my floor, right? I have more um, the heating source for the rocket stove. I have propane in the bin for my small body heater. You know, the small round one. All you do is just light the, just lights the match. When you click it, a match turns on. Just that little bit. You don't have to turn nothing on because that's all it gives you. And the thing starts turning orange. You got you gotta you gotta open pop your windows a little bit because you will suffocate. So that's why I, the rain guards came in place. And if it's raining, you don't have to worry about water coming into your vehicle. Whatever type of vehicle you may use for ground life, okay? Temporary. It could be a temporary situation. It could be a full-time, you know, a camper, van lifer. And it could be, you could be a nomad. Um, I will be doing some traveling down the line, okay, I will. Um, I decorated it to make it look homey. You saw, and you already saw, okay. I gave you a little idea. Um, once I start doing more, more more um, cooking and stuff like that, then it'll get better, okay? 
So remember, I just finished setting up my van. It's fully. I love it. From opening the hatch in the back, everything that I need for my vehicle, fluids and whatnot, is right there. There is an, another spot behind the, the full pantry for whatever I might need to put there. So I have a cubby hole behind my the rear seat. So you saw I have space to put stuff around. So it, it's working. Okay, it's working beautifully. Beautiful. I decorated it. You know, a little odds and ends here. My daughter, my sister-in-law gave me the plant. Um, the sink, you saw the sink. The sink is, is great. It's great. I love it. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm gonna be working on the um on the uh, it shouldn't take me long because I already got the funnel to have my gray water go into the um, the gray water tank okay container that way I won't have any water running down anywhere if I was to boondock at Walmart if I'm on the road or anything like that okay um. What else can I think of? I reinforced my solar panel with the Gorilla tape. Okay, the days that it was nice and sunny, I reinforced. Okay, because winter's coming now. So when it starts snowing, I take the broom and I try to push a little bit while it's soft. Okay, now when it's hard, I try to get that snow out of that solar panel on the top um, when the snow starts falling down. And I take... Uh, it's pink. It's a um, ice melter. It's pink. It's e uh, um, eco-friendly, they call it. It's safe for pets to step on and whatnot. Um, that's the one I order. And I throw it on top of my, my flexible solar panel. And I don't have to do nothing to it because that solar panel, no snow is going to stick in it. I cannot scrape up there or I'll mess up my panel. I've had that panel for like nine years in different van setups, different vans that I had. And um, so that's how I deal with my solar panel. So I reinforced it with the Gorilla Tape so that it'll be a little bit more, you know, firm onto it for winter time, you know, you have to prepare yourself now for winter. Don't wait until it gets cold out there and you're freezing and you can't do things. I truly recommend all the van lifers, if you have to do anything on the outside of your van or uh, complete your setup or uh, organize it so that you can use some kind of heating, do it now. Do it now before it gets cold outside and then it's harder. Just like I told my brother. Um, uh, his wife broke the the blade that she uses to cut wood. So tomorrow we're going to run to Home Depot because she said she was going to get it tomorrow. So I said, you better take advantage of me while I can. But once I leave, um, she's on her own because he can't do that. So let's see. And um, I, the, what I was doing for them was insulating a window so that the winter time, they say that that window gets really cold and and whatnot. So, and they're over here next to the woods, which is colder over here. It's more colder right here than it is if you walk on um, three or four trailers down the street. So I try to help them do that. It, it works wonderfully. Double insulation, yeah. And uh, insulated plastic, but I ran out of tape, okay. So it's a window they don't use. So it can get done, it can get done. All the windows mostly are towards the other type of, and over here, the big porch. This porch has about 15 windows. And then they have two, that's the 15 of the porch. And then you got two on the front of the porch. And then you have another two, and there's another two. And then the front room has another two. And then on the other side, there's another two. And then there's the kitchen windows on the other side. And then on the bedroom on the other side, they have these big windows. The problem is on this side. So. His wife gets home like at midnight. Well, she gets out of work at midnight tonight. I don't know how she keeps her job, but it is what it is. So, um, 
I really enjoy the time up here fixing my van, sharing with all y'all. I want to thank all of you that commented and gave me a hit the like button. Um, I try to do the best that I can, give you the best that I can, guys. Um, and I hope you are enjoying it, my fun, my, my, um, my setup, and, um, and I'll show you my sink setup once I finish for my gray water, okay? Uh, my ghetto drainer. <laughs> My ghetto drainer, guys. But you know what? That thing doesn't take much space compared to the other things that I've tried. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I was driving you crazy with the sink and the bed, right? So, guys, everything is working beautifully. That is the full setup. Um, that's how it's going to stay. And you're going to have some nice time with me um, indoors okay guys so just testing the waters these past couple of days in the van making it very stealthy you see I'm a very stealthy person um, when I get in my van to sleep if I need to cook if I need to turn a body heater on uh, I don't want no light filtering from nowhere okay stealth as possible that's me um, I have to get more tape of my own to reinforce the other two reflectors that I have for the um, black back window and the uh, the side the window where the um, the sink is yeah that one it has a, a mosquito mesh. So I'll put it, the mosquito mesh does open, it has these uh, magnets, okay, but I can put the um, reflective there, because remember, there is a gap on the top that you can see outside, and if I turn any lights in like elsewhere, they're visible, and if I want to be stealth, um, I'm, somebody's going to see my stove on, something on, so I don't want to call any attention, so tomorrow when we go to Home Depot, um, we'll get the blade for her, uh, she's gonna buy the blade for the electric, uh, wood cutter, cause they have to stock up on a lot of wood, um, and then they have to figure out a way to, how to, how to fill that tank with, 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 with diesel for the heat, because it is cold out here, guys, I slept in my van because it's smaller, I had the Yuko, and it was warmer. It's cold. It's cold, guys. So, we're gonna um, hook up that uh, blade thing and uh, start cutting some wood. Not for me, but for them. Because when it gets really, really freezing out here, they have to wood. Okay. Um, the diesel that they have to fill up is like. Hold on, guys. Yeah! I'm oh, sorry, guys. I just can't catch a break. So, he's going to sleep. And, um... He probably won't even hear the alarm. When she comes home. So, he's asking me if I'm going to be up at midnight. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, she gets out at 12. So, I guess about 1 o'clock in the morning she'll get here. Because those roads are awful. I don't know how she goes to those roads. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so far, things are calm. <laughs> anyway, um, I can't fix other people's problems. I can help with the cause that he, you know, but I can't fix other pro other issues. I, I, it's not my problem. I stay out of that one. So, guys, as you can see, I did work on the van. It's fully functional. Storage. Uh, under my bed, only my what I need, okay, um, winter stuff, because it'll get cold soon, um, cooking, okay, food, 
um, I have to pack up on my, my book bag with for clothing and uh, sweaters, uh, warm socks, okay, um, thermals, uh, more towels, okay, and and any 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 dish dish rag, a dish cloth, okay, so I can dry my hands, and um, I don't have to use a lot of paper towels. So I do have a lot, but some things you really don't need the paper towel. Wipe your hands. You can use one of those towel, uh, cloth towels, you know, kitchen towels. So when I get back home, I'll I have at home. So I'll put some in. Uh, what else am I missing? Really nothing, guys. Uh, really nothing. Just my, um, my funnel for the gray water. So tomorrow, I will show you, okay? And, um, thanks for watching the video. Um, Lots of hugs and um, love to all of you. And um, don't forget to hit the like button. Okay. That will help me grow my channel as I go. Because this is going to continue on. And um, to all my van lifer friends out there. Okay. You're my family also. Uh, nomads. Okay. I want to thank you. Rodney, thank you. Miss Ruth P. Thank you. Billion Dollar Hustler. Barb. Uh, Beth D. Um... Crappy cat. Uh, I have to write all these names down. Uh, beautiful. Thank you. Um, what else I got there? Uh, Dragonflies. O T W P. Um, oh gosh. It's, it's a lot of them. I'm, I have to make a video with, with all your names, okay? But anyway, when I say all of you, I just mention all of you, okay? I'm starting to even remember your names. Is there something, guys? Have you noticed that? that I can just, in my mind, I, I, I call out your names. Thank you, thank you. If I miss anybody, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's just that my memory is not good. My banner drills. Um, they quit working once I met Miss Hannah. So, like I said, my next video will be about Miss Hannah. You're going to be shocked at this story. I have to see her again tomorrow. Um, this story you have to see. She, ca she even came all the way over here. She cried. She met my brother. It was... It was something, I don't even know how to explain it, guys. But I will tell you about the story. I do have some videos without showing her into the picture. I have videos of the camper van. They're picking it up tomorrow, she saw it. She has a very sad story in her past. She has a lot of pain in her heart from her past, previous marriage. Then she married the ideal guy. And that was by two year. A two year beautiful life that she had. And now he's not longer with her. Okay. Um, he's with God. Okay. So. Um, very sweet woman. Her story is. Is heartfelt. Okay. Even my tears came out. But. When I got there. Today. I said. I was, I was going to take a shower. And lay down. Because then it just had me all going. All, you know. I was tripping all over the place. I was falling asleep out here. I said. Oh yeah. I got to lay down. But I said. Wait a minute. I got to go see Hannah. Because it's not Hannah. It's Laura. Heineke. Heineke. So, I walked. You know that I wasn't sleepy anymore? No, I don't know what happened to the Benadryl. I wasn't sleepy anymore. I completely woke up. She was there. She showed me her beautiful home. Told me her story. 
She told me her story, guys. She told me her story. It's shocking. It's shocking. But that'll be another video just on that. But I don't like to video people's story or another person's story. Um, something like her story is a beautiful story and it's a sad story and yeah I might even cry about it but I need her permission I need her permission to load up the videos that I took and you can hear her speaking you won't see her but you can hear her speaking about her life and she even came all the way out here because I told her I want you to meet my brother and um, I tell you, when she came here, um, he doesn't let nobody in his house. He don't let nobody in his home. Because he's not the type to bring everybody to his home. Especially in these bad times that we're in now, we gotta be careful who you bring inside your home. But because she's a faithful person, and um, the little bit that I told him about her, and um, she has prayer uh, days and hours, you know. I said, okay. So, she was speaking to me about, about Word of God. It's good to hear the Word of God also, okay. A lot of people don't want to hear it. But we should. You should hear it. You should. You should read your Bible. At least for a little bit. You know, if you pray to God, don't pray to God and, and ask, ask, um, ask God to help you in a bad situation. Pray, okay, in good situations too. Don't just wait until you have a bad situation because you will be rejected. Your, your prayers will not be answered because you only pray and ask when you need you pray all the time this lady she said every car that goes by when she's sitting outside meditating and praying she prays for the family in that vehicle I said what? she says I pray for the whole community everyone she says she takes a little strolls around too and every house she prays and she prays. And my brother told her, you know what? You don't need to worry about it. If you need anything, I'm over here. I'm your brother. You come over here. You come anything. Anything. My brother knows a lot about the Bible. He can smell you a mile away if you're in good or bad. Trust me. He knows I'm not good. But he knows I'm good too. Okay? Because I'm not perfect. And he doesn't want perfect people either. It doesn't matter if your life is screwed up. But if you want to listen to the word of God, he will help you to ease, relieve your stress, just by talking to you, okay? Nobody comes in this house or any, or any house that I've ever known him. He told her, Will you come into my home? Come inside. And she looked at me. I said, oh, that's, that's his house. <laughs> Let's go. So we went inside. And she was impressed, okay, with the way my brother treated her. There's nothing of impression inside to see. But everything is, so, you know, it's fine, but it's not the, it's not a palace. But there's a lot of humbleness, there's love for my brother, there is blessings in this home. This home is blessed, this home is peaceful. You know when a home is peaceful, is when you step in it and you feel that peacefulness. Okay, some people just walk in people's houses and just, you know, mind is distracted and all this stuff. You walk in a home, notice if that home is 
peaceful. And he felt the lady, you know, he had to hug her because she started crying outside. Telling him a little bit about her. He already knew. She said, no, she said, she told me, sister, before she even started speaking, I can see, I can feel that she had a lot of pain in her life. She is suffering in, in, inside, and, and, and I'm going to help her ease that pain. So he was happy to have met her. He saw, okay, he felt it. He cried all in his arms, okay. I was like, wow. And, um, he gave her some sodas and juices to take back home. And he ran, you know, I came up here with a van full of food for my brother. And he told me, sister, so the husband passed. And she's about 70 something years old. So yes, somewhere on there. And, well, she did say. I love Dr. Pepper, but I can't purchase it. I'm like, yes, yeah, she said that. And you gave her an apple juice. And she said, oh, she liked her Dr. Pepper, but she can't buy it. He gave her ap some apple juice, and he gave her some Dr. Peppers to take with her. And then he wanted me to go to Dollar General to pick up some stuff to welcome her into, you know, a friendship. And he says, that's what you do. You meet people like that. You welcome them, okay, to bring them a little something, something, as appreciation, and to show that you care, and they have little confidence in case they need you, they will come and knock on your door again and come back. He says she can come here anytime if she needs anything. I said, but bro, it's getting dark out there. Don't do this to me. Don't put me out there on the road. It was 7 o'clock. Okay, it's dark outside. I'm not going out there today, bro. Can you leave it for tomorrow, please? Please, I'll go early morning, please. He said, what if she doesn't have any food to eat? I'm like, holy smoke. So he told me, do that tomorrow. And um, later down the line, uh, he's going to walk up there and go, you know, with the prayer prayer moments that they have, prayer times. He's going to join them. And he knows where her church is, I mean, the church that she goes to. The pastors, um, they come. He asks about the pastors because, you know, Pastors, they just want your money. But he asked her questions about the pastor. And she said the pastor has helped her in her friend the wife to fix the fence, to fix this, to do that, to do that, to do this. Okay? So he told me, sis, those are good pastors. You tell your pastor, you need help at home with this or that. They come, they're good pastors. When you tell your pastor you got this problem and that problem and, and then they just walk away and they just want your money, they're not real, okay? So she said something about fear. That she doesn't feel fear. Um, she phrased the word fear in words. Fear of... F it was for fear, E was for enemy, I think. I gotta figure that out. I forgot. I forgot, guys. I, I totally forgot. I, I'll get it to you. I'll give it, I'll run it, run it to you next time. She also did say that soon, soon, guys. There was going to be a big turnaround in this country. A big turnaround. It's going to be a big clash in this country. And it's not going to be war. Something major is going to happen in this country that we live in. 
in the next few months. I don't know what. She didn't tell me exactly what. And I, I didn't want to ask because my stress level will rise up. But, um, she did say that. So they started talking about the Bible because my brother wanted to know, are you real or are you real fake? She knows. She knows the scriptures. And he told her something about some scriptures. And she said, yeah, you're right and this and that. And they got into talking, okay, the, the, the word. And I knew some of it. I learned with my brother some years ago. So I'm glad that I'm not perfect. He knows that too, okay? Um, but I do have a lot of faith and I do believe in God. So guys, I'm going to let you go for now, okay? Um, I'm going to go back to Miss, Miss uh, Lover, okay? Heineke tomorrow. And I am going to ask for permission if I can load up her story, alright, if she gives me permission, and if, uh, even though she's not in the picture of the videos that I took, can I load up that video, which she's not in the uh, video at all, but you can hear her start of van life. And y'all will be shocked at what you're going to hear. You're not going to see her. You will see some views of the trailer she had. You might see some views of what we was doing. You will see some views of me taking her TV down. And you will hear her say, I I've been praying all morning for God to send me someone to help me before they come and get that trailer um, to take that TV off. Otherwise, I'm going to have to give, you know, for $500 with the TV, I'm like, you know. And then I happened to just stop by to see if she had time to talk to me. And I told her, you have wrenches? You got tools? She said, I've been praying for God to send me somebody. Oh, God, you're a godsend. I thank you. I said, well, I was going to go take a shower and go to sleep. Because I took two Benadryl because I was bitten by these. <laughs> and I didn't. I said, let me go to you here first. Then I'll go back and take a shower and then crash. And But I feel okay. She said, I told her I feel okay. She said, oh, you're a godsend. I prayed for God to send me somebody. And look who comes through. Looking for me. Knocking on my door. Asking for me. And you took my TV down. Thank you, thank you. So you're welcome. You know, no matter whether I don't live here, but you will see me more often. Before the snow comes down, you will see me more often. So it, I'm glad that I was able to help her out, guys. I'm very happy. I thank God, guys. Sometimes, you know, I sit out here at nighttime because I can feel the peacefulness and you can meditate and pray out here, okay? peaceful. I mean, you could pray anywhere. And let me tell you something. She said something that was very true. Where there's two or three gathered, God is there with you. When you, and, um, when there's two or three gathered, God hears you. He's there with you. Then she said, the saying is when there's two or three gathered, God is with you, right? listening to your prayers but she said I'm one Jesus is two because he's the son of God and God the creator right that's three I had to catch myself and think wow she's right then my brother says that's all you need you don't need a group of people when you want to pray. You pray in your own little mini, um, mini spot, quiet time, no disturbances of any kind because evil will distract you from prayers. Evil will distract you from concentrating to 
sometimes you have to go in a peaceful place and speak to God, you know, or talk to God. So, I said, wow, I always hear my brother say that. And I do the same thing. I do it. And that's, that's the story, guys. So tomorrow, I will go back to her. Um, the guy's coming about 10 o'clock in the morning to pick up the trailer. So I'll probably be over there, okay, and take a video. And um, I do have videos of the trailer. The camper that goes on top of the pickle. Nice inside. I knew. I knew. And she told me the story as I was videoing, you know, the, the camper inside. And you can't see her, but you can hear every word she said. But I want her permission. And I also would like for her to come on camera and say, Ada, you have permission to upload the conversation. And maybe she can add a little bit of more words um, to this video of her and her camper and her life, okay? So that you can see her through the lens, all right, guys? So let's see. Tomorrow, uh, I will try to make it happen, okay? She's a very beautiful woman, okay? She's up in age. And, and age is nothing but a darn number. She still wants to travel. She said, even though I'm going to get rid of it, it doesn't mean it's going to stop me from traveling. I'm like, what? Now you got to pick up with nothing in the back? This woman lived in the streets. This woman got kicked out with the camper because she couldn't live here. Somebody in the driveway somewhere in I don't know what state. She traveled to a lot of states, guys. She parked in people's uh, driveways that gave her permission, and two days later they kicked her out so that she had to go move that big thing out of the driveway. She, this woman been through a lot. And then by losing her husband in April of 2022, has taken a toll on her. It's a very sad story, guys. You will cry. So, God bless her. So tomorrow I'm gonna get up early. And um, go to the Dollar General, pick up a couple of things, okay, edible. I do have a more canned stuff in my, my vehicle. I will make a nice gift bag and give it to her, okay. And to welcome her into our lives, okay, welcome into this home. Anytime she needs something or an emergency or winter or something, anything. My brother told her, you, I am your brother now. My brother told her, you have a brother here, okay? You come down here anytime you need me. I'm always here. Unless I'm at the doctor's appointment, I'm here. And she remembered his name. So she felt so good. She felt so good that, you know. Um, and he told her, he told her, you don't have to be afraid for nothing because all this block right here is a peaceful their family they're very nice very humble people they don't bother anybody and um it's we got the we got the nicest parts of this community part so she felt so good she's been here uh two years two years She's been living in this community park. She has lived in California. In her in the, in that camper van. And other places. So let's see if we can get the story right out of her mouth. At least for a little bit. Because I already got the video. But I cannot load it up. So guys. I have a good night. I'm going to go inside. And I can't sleep in my van tonight. Because big bear is in there. Uh me another number tomorrow morning so but he asked me if I was gonna stay up till midnight to wait for his wife because their door gets jammed I'll try to work on that door tomorrow too um it gets jammed and it, it won't open <laughs> open it from the inside so 
I said, okay, I'll I, I work on it tomorrow. I'll work on it tomorrow. We'll see what I can do. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching my previous band video. I appreciate all the comments. Please comment. Please comment. Okay, please comment. And um, ask me anything you want to ask me. Okay, guys? I'm going to try to make a live chat one day, okay? Not right now, but down the line. And, um, have fun with it. I'm gonna have fun with it. So, we can have fun on the videos too. Okay. So, you can throw down whatever you want to throw down. And, uh, I do get back to my comments. The Wi Fi is pretty bad, but you know, I, I, got, I got a little bit of Wi Fi today, so I, I, can't, I, I answer to all the comments today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, and for all the ideas you gave me that it made my van a full functionable. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, I will catch you on my next video. Okay, guys? So, y'all have a good day or a good evening or a good night. And, um, whenever you catch to this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And, um, always leave a comment. Because I like interaction, okay? I, I want to know, what do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? You know, did I forget something? Should I move this over there and that over there? Or anything you want to know about inside the van, okay? Um, please ask. Please ask. Please. Leave a comment or leave a question anything guys okay guys so to my best team which is all yeah thank you very much for this little bit of time that you spend with me i truly appreciate your time and i'm going to go inside because it's cool i don't know what's behind me <laughs> so i i have this little light here flashing right there because i can see through the camera but from behind me And there's a lot of spotlights. Anything that's close, this thing lights up like a, <laughs> like a stadium. <laughs> and send them all those sensor lights um, on in, on the mail, guys. I don't have the descriptions to the stuff I have in my van, but once I get to New Jersey, I am going to I am going to uh, uh, get on my oldest son's back like a monkey until he shows me how to put these descriptions down so that I can. Um, Put down the items that I have in my van that I did get from Amazon to put the links to show me how to put the links there, okay? Um, so that's another thing when I get back home, all right, guys. So I'll see you again as soon as I can, and let's hope this video loads up. So thanks, oh, thanks, all of y'all again. Lots of hugs. I'm a very honest person, I'm a joker too. And we have fun with the channel, okay? We're gonna, we have fun with the channel. So, um, I will catch you on my next video, guys. Thank you so much, guys. And yeah, I'll be blessed, okay? TJ, um, I am glad that um, she's feeling much better. Alright, TJ? So, that's my, that's my prepping people, okay? I have prepper friends here, too. So, lots of hugs to, to TJ Preps. And you haven't checked out these channels on the names, um, go, go to the channels because you will learn a lot from them. Alright? And there's more butterflies. Okay, guys, I gotta get out of here because I have too many things flying around out here. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> the heck was that? Y'all hear that? I hear and, and, and hear the craziest sounds. Guys, I'm going inside. <laughs> Everybody, have a blessed night, a blessed day, a blessed evening, okay? All y'all be blessed. Stay in prayers, guys, because we don't know what the heck's going to happen between now and the things are getting so bad. And something's going to say something's going to happen, but we don't know what it is, okay? Let's not be caught unprepared in the middle of winter, okay? So, think about it. And let me tell you another thing. Add to the gaps, okay? Add to the gaps. When I get home, I'm adding to my gap. 